All right, we can have a seat right here. Oh my goodness, we've got a crew today, don't we? That's great. <clears throat> okay, well, I, I was reading, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> when I was listening to the scripture and reading the scripture, there was a few things that kind of came up for me that popped up and I thought I'd share them with you today. And so <clears throat> we were talking about in the scripture that we read about, uh, there were some words about lightness and darkness and truth and all those kinds of things. And so one thing I thought about was a flashlight. So <clears throat> I'm going to turn this flashlight on and you can kind of see it since it's light in here. Yeah, it just shines in one little space. Has anybody ever used a flashlight in the dark? No, you haven't yet. Maybe someday. Maybe it's a friend used one or, or sister or brother. Yeah, so, oh, wow, we got, oh, wow, look at that. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty cool. Okay, so here we go. So if you notice, yes, yeah, see the light, it only shines right where we point the flashlight. So if we're pointing it here right on this little guy's hands, we aren't going to really see what's going on over here and some other places. So we really can't see everything with a flashlight. We can only see where it's pointed, right? So sometimes there's some stuff in the darkness that we aren't aware of. So there's there was that. That's one thing that kind of came up in my mind was the flashlight. The other thing I thought about was this term called blind spot. Have you ever heard of that term before? The blind spot? You've heard of that? Yeah. So what does it mean to be blind? What's that? Yeah, you can't see, right? So has anybody at school or maybe at the doctor's office had to do this little test? They put this paper up on the wall that has letters on it, or sometimes it has shapes, like they say a heart or a star, and they make you, they have you put your hand over your eye like this? Has anybody ever had to do that? And then the other, yeah, like this. So here's, so here's that, that's one way to think of a blind spot. Well, you're looking at those letters and reading those, or you're saying it's a star, I see a heart, I see a diamond. You can't see what's going on over here, right? You're kind of blind over here. So that's another thing I thought of when I was reading this scripture. And then the other thing I thought of was rose-colored glasses. Have you ever heard that before, where they say you're looking at things through rose-colored glasses? Okay. Well, maybe some of the adults out here have heard of that. But when, So I have these rose-colored glasses, and they're really cool. When you put them on, everything looks different. Like now the carpet looks kind of rosy, and everybody's faces look a little different. They look, it's just, it's like it's, they're a different color. They look like rose, rosy through these glasses. So sometimes we have the same, yeah? You want to try them? Well, you know what? If I let you try them on, guess what? Everybody else is going to want to try them on. So you're going to have to trust me on this, okay? And maybe you can try, try, have you ever worn some sunglasses before? Yeah, so, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, so you have some, you have some glasses. Well, sometimes when you put sunglasses on, things look a little different too, huh? Yeah, yeah, right. A darker window, yeah. Yeah, so the same, it's the same idea with these rose-colored glasses. So um, rose-colored glasses, sometimes they say that when we put rose-colored glasses on, we only really see what we want to see. We just think we don't see everything, really, what it truly looks like. So when we think about this scripture, we can think about when we have this flashlight, right? What if we really want to see everything that's, we want to see the light, and God has true light, right? And we can read the Bible, and Jesus can tell us and give us more light to see everything, even in the darkness. And sometimes when we have our blind spot on, we can't see everything that, we're, that we really need to see. Maybe we don't see people that really need help, and we maybe see people in, um, we don't see people that we need to be friends with and care for because we're not really seeing everything. And so we can pray to God and ask God to help us see, help us to watch out for those blind spots. And then 
we can also ask God to help us. Sometimes we're just seeing things that we want to see through our rose-colored glasses instead of all of the things that we really need to see so that we can be the light and help and help spread God's message to our friends and neighbors. So let's say a prayer. Okay. Dear God, help us remember your true light in the darkness. Lead us to love ourselves and our neighbors. Help us open our eyes and see the world around us with love and grace and peace. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you all for coming up today. <clears throat>